OK, the final down the flat for week two of the Starters Orders League Season 8. And we've got 11 races. We're going to start off with a couple uh, just left over from Leicester yesterday. And then we're going to be flying over to Australia where we've got, I think it's close on £10 million up for offer over, I think, five races. And that starts with the Black Caviar Lightning Stakes, which is worth 700000 A little five furlong sprint where Jim Murray's South Coast is a top rated horse there that's followed up by the australian cup which is uh, i think worth 1.5 million that's one mile two furlongs over F uh, flemington it's a group one it's firm conditions there and then you've got a couple of uh, previous winning horses in there the dark horse for Hans jones lady jane felsham for paul rhodes and the ends of the earth for sirius chill then we move on to the george Ryder stakes which is worth eight hundred thousand pounds which is seven and a half furlong group one and then the doncaster handicap which is a one mile group one handicap worth 2.5 million pounds and there's actually no previous winners in that race so anything could uh, get in there the top rated is silver chair of django then race 31, it's the Queen of the Turf. That's worth 800,000. That's a one mile group one for the Phillies. And then we're gonna finish up with the 3.5 million AJC Queen Elizabeth stakes over at Randwick, which is a one mile two group one for three year olds and up. And there's a few good horses in here. Uh, you've got Crisis Talks of Stephen Ran, favorite son of Django, Schwartz of Hans Jones, all did well last time out. Bit of, as uh, Stephen Rand mentioned, Big fields here at uh, Ramwick are always a bit difficult because uh, you start on a kind of curve. So uh, good luck to everybody in that one. We're going to finish up the week from Val in South Africa, where Tim Sandyman will just finish up with the three small handicaps we've got. Forgot to mention, it's Mike Tartaglia that'll be calling most of the races, um, the last couple at Leicester and all the Australian races. So good luck to everyone and we'll see you in week three.